Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today on Craft of Minic, I'm going to share how I rearranged, redecorated and organized my craft room. Starting over here in the closet, I moved this cabinet I used to have in my family room into the open closet because leaving it open made it more um, roomy and made the room feel more open. So I put the cabinet in there and I could not believe how perfectly it went underneath the pegboard like it went right underneath it and it holds scrapbook paper and other craft items so it worked perfect in here i have these polka dot bins filled with miscellaneous craft supplies plastic tubs from walmart with tapes and jewelry making punches candles birthday stuff more ribbons um wood supplies pom-poms kid crafts plastic bins paints tape runners, I mean all kinds of things. So what I'll do is I'll go over some of the stuff and some of the areas and the rest I'll let you guys just watch it to music. I got this cute half bicycle basket from Joann's as well as this sign and the heart, the wood block and the galvanized C. That's from Crumpets Home Decor. That's from Joann's. And lots of other things are from thrift stores and I've upcycled them or repainted them like the gumball machine and the table and the striped bench. The cubby was also found at an antique store. It was like 80 bucks. It was an ugly dark purpley brown filled with cobwebs and cat hair. So I cleaned it really well. Chalk painted it white first and then chalk painted it like a minty blue and then sanded it. <laughs> Another thrifted little table. Printables found on Pinterest. That, that sign, I don't remember where I got that. Embroidery hoops thrifted and then I just put fabric in them. These cute curtains I made. <laughs> love this like handle grippy thing right here to pull it out it's really it's a really nice chair this coaster my son made me for Mother's Day this year they did some kind of a mod podge or sealant on the top so that's super cute and I just keep my drink on it when I'm in here working everyone asked me about the camper sewing machine cover my mother-in-law made it she knows how much I love campers one day it's my dream to restore an old one my daughter made me these pen flowers for mother's day this year and i just stuck them in this cute target girl cup my mother-in-law also made me this cricket cover so my cricket is underneath so it doesn't get all dusty it has a nice pocket for storage a thrifted stool with a cute lamp on it from walmart the ras cog carts from ikea with lots more craft supplies. The wooden crates are from Joann's. Metal pills. This 
cute camper overnight bag my mother-in-law also made me. It's just sitting here on the floor with some frames behind it. The DIY sign I made. You can find this piping stuff at Home Depot and the wood that I just chalk painted. These are from Target and they're still there and they hold my fabric. And these are a whole series of Reader's Digest children's books that I thrifted. really talented made me this. I sent her a picture of my kids in these outfits and she did this watercolor. Super cute. Very crafty. So it looks cute in my craft room. This camper cookie jar is from World Market. The bicycle I got at Ace Hardware and then I mounted it to a chalk painted faux fence that I also sanded. Jars and stuff from Michaels, Joann's, Ikea, and then this cute thing I got at Michaels. I used to have it in my kitchen and it held like K-cups, but I moved up to my craft room and now it holds jars and stuff. The craft room sign is from Crumpets Home Decor and these I got from Michaels a couple years ago. I found a long time ago. I painted it yellow and I added the J for Jenny. And my mother-in-law gave me these because um, she had so many and they, they're supposed to be for spices but I hold craft supplies in them. So see the spices would come through there. They work great to hold craft supplies. The ceiling fan, I did chalk paint the blades white and then I spray painted the shades yellow. If you guys enjoyed today's craft room tour update with the new rearranging, please give it a thumbs up. I will be back sharing a decorate with me for 4th of July in the summer. And thank you guys so much as always for tuning into today's video and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.